Black Lives Matter, people can argue with the subtle nuances of, of the syntax all day. They can argue with what the meaning is all day. But they never ask. Those people don't ask what the meaning is. So the, I'll tell you. So I was going to say, well, asked, let's share that. Yeah. Saying if, if anybody wanted to ever ask instead of argue, the black person in America is not fighting for the black person in America. They're fighting for the, the idea that America exists at all. They're fighting for the idea of democracy. They're fighting for the idea of kindness and fairness and repair in a community that's been decimated by policies, delivery systems, enforcement, ideas, agreements, structures, <laughs> everything. Everything. And if you can't hear me say that, then that just means that you um, think that your opinion, even though it's outside of the scope of oppression, is just as valid as the person who's being oppressed. And you should examine that. If you can't hear an oppressed person's voice, if you can't hear their ancestors screaming through their skin in the form of a riot or a fire, if you can't hear that cry for help, then it means you're just not trying to. And then I think that we should be asking those people questions. Not, not so much, what do you mean by Black Lives Matter or like all lives matter? Yes, we know they do. <clears throat> but this country has never valued black lives. And it's not just, not just you know, uh, um, the, the, the actual matter of the human being, the life, but it is the education of that human being. It is the aggrandizement of that human being. It is building wealth. It is um, um, redlining is, is something that they did in Europe with ethnic groups, but they called it ghettoization. They would trap them in areas and, and not, not allow them to leave the world. Yeah, explain that a little um, bit for the audience. It's ghettoization. So basically, like in the ghettos in, in the 20th century in Europe, you had different ethnic groups that were that weren't that were huddled there and weren't really allowed to leave, right? And how were how how were they not allowed to leave? By a system of laws and policies and enforcement that were in place. Now, redlining in America uh, was was our version of the ghettoization of, of the 19th and 20th century in, in Europe. And what that meant, what that meant was that you weren't, if you were a black person, there were certain areas that you weren't allowed to move into. It doesn't matter how much money you had, you couldn't move into those areas. Those areas um, received less funding from public funding. Um, those areas, um, the tax, the, the taxes that went back into those areas were proportionate to the taxes that were paid, right? Mm -hmm. And because of the, the uh, unfair job markets and the unfair education, you couldn't get, you know, there, there, was, there was less wealth in the black community. And because there was less wealth in the black community and it, because there was less wealth in the, uh, or less development in the, in the areas in which blacks were allowed by law to live in, segregation, that's what that is, uh, we all know what that is. So you couldn't go to the bank and say, hey, my property value um, uh, can can be my collateral. My my high salary can be my collateral. So we couldn't get loans. Couldn't get small business loans. Couldn't get, you know, small business loans started going to black people in the 1980s for the first time. For the first time. I was yeah, I born think. in 1980, so like if you, you got to think about that. Like most people who are who who don't understand Black Lives Matter or they don't understand or they want to say All Lives Matter, it's it's just a misunderstanding or an overlooking of history. And history is very important because it's why we are where we are today. So there's been a lot of systems in place that have. Um, Withheld options and withheld, and just enforce hegemony, and um, it's it's hard to describe because it's 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 people. I know people get tired of hearing it, but we get tired of saying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking right. <laughs> <laughs>